My name's Ian McCartney. Uh, I come from Bathurst, New South Wales, uh, up here for uh, just a bit of a swim. <laughs> now, it's not just a bit of a swim. Can you give us a bit of an idea of uh, what you're preparing to do? Well, this year, I'm non-competitive. So this year's swim is set down as about a 10k swim from this side of uh, Balanian Island back here to the boat ramp at Lake Argyle. Now, I remember meeting you a couple of years ago when this swim was on. Uh, it wasn't on last year. What, what has brought you up here to have a go again? I think it, look, if I, if I could possibly do it before I die, I'd like to swim the entire dam. But when I heard it was on and I, I was prepared to go last year and it just didn't happen, so I kept in condition, I kept training and uh, desperate to come. Ah, oh, the beauty of the place, that's enough to bring anyone back. Uh, and if anything, that stops serious training because I get out there uh, on the lake and it's so beautiful, I just can't concentrate. I've got to roll over my back and just appreciate the ruggedness, the beauty of it, the colours. It's, ah, oh, where could it be better? But always been into swimming? Yeah. Pretty well all my life, even as a kid, a river rat uh, along the Macquarie River in Bathurst and further west. I always swam up and down rivers. I swim all year round and I sort of maintain a fitness of a level. I swim no less than 10 kilometres a week and sometimes a bit more and occasionally 10 kilometres a day just to stay in and a bit of bike riding as well. A few spots around Bathurst is there, not too cold? Uh, <laughs> well, my occupation, I'm a, a dam keeper and perks of the job. I can swim all summer months in the dam and wetsuit it for a little while. And when it gets too cold, Bathurst now got a beautiful uh, swimming uh, pool, heated pool. So colder months, uh, I keep training in the pool. I do 10 k's a week in the pool. The temperature here is slightly different though, I'd imagine? Wow, this is just superb. This is like in, swimming in a bathtub. <laughs> Couldn't be better. 26 degrees today. Uh, gee, just magic. <laughs> now, um Freshwater crocodiles, there's supposed to be 24,000 of them in this lake. Uh, during your few weeks of practicing up here, have you seen few? I have. I've had only one encounter on the last swim, which is the most beautiful thing that could ever happen to anyone in a lifetime. I came in on the boat ramp last year, or the last swim was up here, half asleep on the beach down there, and I, when I woke up, I had a one about my body length laying alongside of me on the sand. I mean, not frightened, not scared. It's just a beautiful, beautiful thing, and what a beautiful creature. In the last couple of days, I've encountered four, not at any close distance. I wish I could be closer to them. You're up here to do this swim, Ian, but uh, I understand you're no real stranger to Argo. You're up here oh, in the late 60s, was it? I was back up here in the 60s when the dam was under construction, working my way around Australia with my then wife, and we come into, into Kununurra. And uh, I got a job laying telegraph uh, line and poles from Kununurra out here to the dam. And to this day, some of the poles still stand. I've been up and give them a bit of a pat and ask them, did they remember me? <laughs> so that's what brought me here in the first place. Yeah. What was, uh, what's your memories of Kununurra during that time? Oh, look, it's grown a hell of a lot in those days. There was only one shop that I can recall in those days, the pub. Uh, a lot of construction work around and I think like now, lots and lots of work, easy to get a job for anyone who wanted to work yeah. and that's what we was doing. So you would have worked all the way up uh, Lake Kununurra? Yes, pretty well, yeah, yeah, just uh, all pick and shovel too and crowbar, it's young and fit and crazy, <laughs> yeah, uh, my back still aches. <laughs> <laughs> well, that country's hard rock, isn't it? Yeah, well it was, it's true, I think that... Uh, uh, I got a bad back out of it, and swimming is one of the things that compensates for a bad back. I got into swimming, and it's a great way to go. Good luck uh, this weekend. Do you think we'll see you back again? Oh, it's, it's in the back of my mind. As I say, when I get old, I'm going to run away from home and come here to live. <laughs> Good luck on Sunday. Thank you very much.